All right, this video will be an introduction to arrays. Or an array is an ordered list of data. And I just opened a code sandbox and had the basic static template. And uh, we're going to make a web page about colors. Colorful colors. And I've got it uh, open on a separate tab here. And we're good to go. Um, except I need a JavaScript file. So we'll go script.js or main.js, whatever you like to call it. And of course in here, I need to load that JavaScript. Oh, there's this wonderful shortcut, uh, main.js, there we go. Um, and we should probably link the style sheet as well. Again, Emmet has a nice shortcut, type link, and it goes here, style.css. And we need to make that file. I should really make a template for this, but that's okay, later. <laughs> All right. Now, in our JavaScript, let's get to the array part. Color array by Mr. B. So, <clears throat> just like we declare variables, let colors be assigned, and we can make numbers, or we can do strings, we can do an array by doing square brackets, and then a comma-separated list. So, red, comma, green, comma, blue. And you can put whatever data you want. It doesn't have to all be strings. It, just, it can be strings and numbers. You can even have arrays inside of arrays or objects inside of arrays. We'll talk more about that later. Um, <clears throat> but in this case, I'm just going to have an array full of strings, red, green, and blue for now. Now, the way that I look up the data that's stored inside of this array, let's say I want to get the first element here. Um, computing scientists are odd, and they like to start counting at zero. So we access these elements by position. The first element is at position zero. Um, that position is often referred to as an index. So this, yeah, let me draw a little arrow. Index, oops, wrong way. <laughs> index, this would be an index of zero. This would be an index of one. And this would be an index of two, right? So if I want to look up red, I need to go colors, which is my array. And then I use square brackets again. But this time, right, no equal sign, just colors, square brackets, and then I put position zero. And that would access the first element red. Console.log, bracket like that. So I'm just going to print to the console colors at position zero. And hopefully in here we will see red. Beautiful. And position, hello, position one. Save that. Refresh, we see green, and you should trust me that this would work, but we'll show you anyway, blue. Okay, there we go. So that's how we can access the um, individual values inside of our array. Now, just for fun, instead of doing the console, let's uh, do something with the HTML here. I'm just going to have a div with the ID of... Um, container, let's just call it, and I'm going to select that element and put content inside of it. So let's see how I can do that. Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da uh, doc, actually, let's do. Sorry, I'm, my homework keys are way off today. Okay, um, variables for HTML elements. I really like doing this. Container element is assigned. Document dot get elements by ID. Container, and then um, here is my array. It's beautiful. We can leave that comment for the index there for now. And what I can do then is container element dot inner HTML is assigned, and we'll do a div element like so. And inside of here, we'll do our little plus colors at position zero plus that. Okay, so all that's doing is just saying, hey, we'll put that color right there. Okay, what I think would be even cooler, yes, it will be cooler, is I, I've told you not to do this, um, the style attribute. Um, because I think it is bad practice. But when we're doing JavaScript, it's we can't affect our style sheet. So this is a way that we can apply a style to our div. 
using JavaScript. There are other ways, but for now I think this is going to be easy, easiest. So I'm going to get rid of all of this stuff. And what I'm going to suggest is inside of this style here, we go background colon and then give it the, um, the style that we want, right? The color from our array. I hope this makes sense. I don't know if it makes sense to me. But, okay, so I've quoted that off. Then I'm going to go plus colors at position zero plus. Okay, let's try that. Brilliant. Now, it, it might be working. Give me a second here. It might be working. Um, what we need to do is I'm going to select the dot container div. So this by doing dot container and then space div, this says select all of the divs that are children of the container class. And let's give them <clears throat> a width of 100%. Actually, they already have a width of 100%. Let's just give them a height of 50 pixels, let's say. Uh, that definitely did not work. I thought that would work. <laughs> okay, let me... Uh, isn't it working on this one? No, of course. Why would it work in one, not the other? Um, actually, let's uh, look at my elements here. Div style equals background red. Where is it? Maybe I do have to give it some width. Okay, let's give it a width too. I thought I didn't have to. I thought the default was 100% width, 100% and height. No, I still don't see it. Why? Why? Okay, I'm going to pause and figure this out. Hold on a second. Okay, I realized I was a big dummy. I put a little content in and it did totally show the background and I was just... um selecting the wrong thing. My div has an ID of container, not a class. So this would not work here. I need to go ID, save, save. And there it is. Yay, red. Okay, sorry that was painful. <laughs> okay, um, mistakes happen to all of us. So if I go one, yay, it's green, right? So we can do this wonderful stuff right here. And this might actually be an interesting time to show you quickly some um, template strings. Um, this doing this whole plus this plus this gets really old sometimes um so let me sh just copy and paste this and i'll show you the same thing with the template string um basically you use a back tick <clears throat> for your string and a back tick is right up uh, to the left of the number one okay there's that symbol right there back tick so we're going to put our string inside of these back ticks and then all i have to do so first of all, it's kind of cool. I can do the regular quotations now inside of here, like I'm used to doing. So div style equals quotation background colon. And then right here is where I want to put the color and um, the value for my array. And when you do back ticks, you're allowed to do a dollar sign and curly braces like that. And basically, whatever it goes inside of these curly braces is an expression that will get inserted into this location. So I can just do colors at position two inside of there. And let's get rid of this now. <clears throat> and there it is. Okay, just a, a little bit more concise, not having to do those plus signs. Okay, anyway, that's, well, that's where I'm gonna stop at this video here. That went uh, longer than I thought it would. But hopefully you got this introduction into arrays, red, green, blue, orange, cyan right so this would be position three so these positions are very important right it's an ordered list position four so let's go position four and then we can look up that value of cyan by doing the name of the array square bracket and then its position okay we'll keep building on this uh, program and look at how to get random elements how to how to loop so that we can traverse every element look at each one um, but that'll be in a future video so hope that made sense. Take care and we'll see you in the next one.